Thanks, uh, Jeff. Uh, so first question, uh, Mr. Mayor, and if uh, our audience members have questions, please send them in via the Q&A function. But uh, uh, why do you think uh, now is Miami's moment? Well, I think uh, there is, uh, thank you, John, as well, for the invitation for this panel, which, which according to you is, is subscribed by a very, very high audience of people. And I wanna thank you all for watching this. And Miami is the beneficiary of a confluence of macro factors that are conspiring in this moment to give us a, in my opinion, a generational tectonic shift of an opportunity. And what those macro factors are, are you know, the federal government taking away the salt deduction from federal income taxes, which created a, a first wave of migration. You had cities and, and states that were increasing taxes to level where the marginal um, incentive to produce is diminished more and more and people don't feel like they wanna give more money to government. And you had governments which frankly were pushing out their innovators and creators uh, by being antagonistic and hostile to them. Um, we presented a different option. We presented an option of low taxes, um, low crime, low homelessness, high quality of life, and, and frankly, um, an inviting climate to people who wanted to create the jobs and the companies of tomorrow, high paying jobs so that people can not only provide for their families, but they can create jobs for others that provide for their families, which has a generational impact on communities. Uh, we're blessed because we're getting from two macro markets of New York and Silicon Valley and the convergence of those two markets that were always segregated in different parts of the United States and polar opposite sides are now converging in a city and the, what, it, what develops out of that, what's created out of that, the companies that are created out of that, no one knows because there's never been that kind of confluence of capital, that economic freedom uh, in, in one city in, in the history of humanity. So my view, and I see it very clearly, is that Miami will become the capital of capital. We are gonna be the best place in, in America and the best place in the world where someone can create a company, can get uh, funding for it, and can develop it into uh, the company of tomorrow. That's my goal, that's my vision, and that's where I think we're headed. Uh, when you talk about uh, Manhattan meeting Silicon Valley, uh, would it be fair to say that the Silicon Valley part of it is the more challenging of the two? And what kind of, what kind of uh, pushback or reservations do uh, high-tech folks in the Valley uh, offer you when you make the proposition? I think they both have their challenges and they're both of their challenges frankly surround the same issue which is education and talent which is why i'm grateful that you're doing this uh seminar and that your step that um university of miami is stepping up because i think the the issue that keeps resonating is are the schools you know particularly the high schools and and and, and elementary schools are they good schools are there enough schools for the people that are coming and the second piece of it is are, are, the, are, you, are we producing the kind of high level finance and engineering talent that is needed for these kinds of jobs? Now, when I was young, uh, I'm 43 now, when I was in my 20s, a lot of my friends who wanted to get an Ivy League caliber education left Miami. And many of them, unfortunately, didn't come back because those high paying jobs and those careers were not available to them. And we wanna change that dynamic. We wanna change that by strengthening our own educational institutions. and I. I'm excited about the gift that the Knight Foundation gave to the University of Miami. They gave one to, uh, for you know, their Data Sciences Center. They gave one to uh, FIU uh, for their STEM Center, and and one and 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 what the investment that micro uh, that uh, IBM made in Miami Dade Community College by by uh, in artificial intelligence. So you've had you've had in the last six months not only has the tech and finance sector migrated, but you've had the philanthropic community of Miami really rally around this issue and start to put real resources to make us more and more competitive. And I think that's something that is special and needed. And frankly, we need more of it. So my, my, uh, my pitch to this community is we need you to step up now. Now is the time to invest in our education and university system. So we can create the best talent to the extent that there's any uh, you know, perceived reputational issues between or gaps between our university system and those of those Ivy League caliber schools. We wanna narrow that gap tomorrow. And we want it. The only way to do that is by attracting high-level professors, continuing to get the best talent in the door, investing in our infrastructure, our labs, our, our biotech, uh, so that we have a, a premier, the premier institutions of America.